Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The gunman responsible for shooting Donald Trump at a Pennsylvania rally on Saturday night has been named. Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20, was shot dead by Secret Service snipers shortly after opening fire on the former president at the open-air event in Butler. The crowded rally was being held at the Butler Farm Show grounds, where sprawls of open fields are understood to have given Crooks perfect visuals of Trump. One audience member was killed in the gunfire, while two remain critically injured. The victims have not yet been identified. Shooter Crooks, of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, is said to have positioned himself on the roof of a manufacturing plant roughly 200 feet outside the cordoned-off rally zone. He was later shot dead by counter-sniper officials who returned the gunfire from the roof of another building nearby. The FBI said Crooks did not have any ID on him at the time, identifying him through his DNA. An AR-15 was reportedly recovered near Crooks' body. Officers said they do not yet have a motive for the shooting, but have confirmed they are calling it an assassination attempt. Bethel Park is located about 40 miles south of where Saturday's rally was held in Butler. What we know so far, the chaos erupted shortly after 6 p.m. on Saturday, when Trump took to the stage to address Republican voters. Minutes later, bullets could be heard ringing out, with Trump seen hitting the deck as security personnel swarmed the former president to protect him. The 2024 hopeful later said he felt a bullet rip through his skin as it pierced the upper part of his right ear. He went on to thank law enforcement for their swift response to the gunfire, offering his condolences to the families of those affected. I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania, Trump wrote on Truth Social Hours after the shooting. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed, and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter, who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. Donald Trump was reportedly shot at his Pennsylvania rally on Saturday afternoon. 1 p.m., doors open at the Butler Farm show grounds, where Trump was expected to speak at 5 p.m. For 11 p.m., Sean Parnell gave the opening speech. For 35 p.m., David McCormick rallied the crowd. 5.30 p.m., crowds were still waiting for Trump. 6.03 p.m., Trump takes the stage. 6.11 p.m., gunshots were fired as Trump delivered remarks. 6.12 p.m., Trump was ushered off stage by Secret Service agents. 6.42 p.m., Secret Service confirmed Trump is safe. 7.24 p.m., the shooter and one rally attendee are confirmed dead by law enforcement officials. 8.42 p.m., Trump confirms he was shot in the ear, sharing a statement on Truth Social. 8.49 p.m., the Secret Service confirms the shooter and a rally attendee are dead. Two others remain critically injured. Shocking video has since shown the moment gunshots were fired as Trump was seen grabbing his ear in pain and collapsing to the ground. Secret Service agents immediately stormed the stage, forming a human shield around the former president. Blood was seen pouring from Trump's right ear as he raised his fist to the crowd before being whisked away from the stage by federal agents. One eyewitness claimed he saw a man with a rifle bear crawling on the roof of a nearby building of Trump's rally. Another, an emergency room doctor in attendance at the rally, told how he performed CPR on a member of the crowd. Both Republicans and Democrats have condemned the brutal attack, with President Joe Biden calling the heinous crime sick. There is no place in America for this type of violence, the president said. He added that he was relieved Donald Trump is doing well. Donald Trump was reportedly shot at a Pennsylvania rally on Saturday, June 13. Trump's rally was held at the Butler Farm Grounds, which can hold tens.